So, uh, also on Thursday, NASA announced an exciting but unexpected collaboration between the Mars InSight lander, that's the one with the core driller that got stuck, and the venerable Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter spacecraft. Back on December 24th, 2021, the day before the James Webb Space Telescope launched, InSight's seismometer detected a significant Mars quake, equivalent to magnitude 4. About 1,000 uh, of these quakes happen every, every day on Earth, but Mars is a quieter planet seism seismographically and doesn't get nearly as many quakes. <clears throat> Here's a sonification of the seismic data that InSight collected. Subsequent analysis of images from Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, Orbiter revealed what had caused the quake, an asteroid impact located 3,500 kilometers from the InSight lander. The crater is about 150 meters or 500 feet wide. It's estimated that the impactor bolide was between 5 to 12 meters or 16 to 29 feet across about half the size of the meteor that exploded above Chelyabinsk, Russia, a few years ago. Interestingly, they detected chunks of ice in the ejecta from the impact, which you can see here as the light-colored patches. It's unlikely that the ice came from the asteroid because the force of the impact would have utterly destroyed it. The ice was bla this ice was blasted out of the ground, now, the presence of subsurface ice in equatorial regions of Mars could prove greatly beneficial to future crewed missions because um, ice is water, which can be turned into both water <laughs> and uh, fuel. So uh, you've got oxygen, you've got hydrogen, you can do all sorts of things with, with ice. And so that is uh, exciting news. Now, the InSight lander itself... Uh, unfortunately, is on its last legs because um, the Martian dust has been accumulating egregiously on its solar panels, and it's running out of power. In fact, uh, uh, it's only expected to NASA is only expecting to retain communication or to be able to maintain communication with the InSight lander for another four to eight weeks. So, just within the next couple of months, they're expecting that. They, uh, the craft will no longer have enough power from its dust-covered solar panels in order to uh, uh, stay alive. But uh, it, it uh, uh, provided some, some valuable, fascinating, and useful scientific data uh, as sort of a last hurrah with this asteroid impact. 